Hey, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, welcome back to Lens Pro. I have been traveling all this month. I have only had two weekends. I'm not happy with this hair situation. Um, two weekends in town this month, and so I haven't done a lot of filming. My sister is getting married next month. Oh, I'm so excited. So, uh, it has been so hot. I'm from Louisiana. And I like work in Memphis, Tennessee, and I live in Mississippi, and so I know all about the summer heat. So I wanted to do a tutorial about makeup melting off. Priming spray. This is by Scandinavia. You can order this online, or some beauty supply stores have it. I'm not in an area where I can get it. I'm just going to mist my whole face. Or I just do a quick few sprays and then fan it in, let it kind of set into my skin. I'm going to hack the name up really bad because my southern accent, but um, it's the YSL. I'm not even going to try to actually say it. Uh, Use Saint Laurent, maybe? Um, touche Eclat La Tent. High school French a little? Yeah? Okay, so um, yeah, all over. And I'm going to use my fingers to kind of put it on and then I'm going to take my clean damp beauty blender or you can use any regular sponge. Um, I don't recommend a brush for this type of technique because we really want to pat it into the skin. I don't know what these hands are but they're happening tonight. And Lost Without Paint is like my thing. Um, it's like my Instagram and all my other stuff. So. Um, I kept selling my art that was behind me, so I just put that up, and it's kind of fun. And it's I started out with a really small amount um, on the back of my hand, and then just kind of used my fingers, and I'm just kind of patting it into my skin all over, starting in the center of my face and working towards the outside of my face. Under my eyes, really good, and then getting my chin and my forehead, and then after I get everything kind of patted in and laid onto my skin, that's when I'm going to take my beauty blender and just kind of pounce it into my skin to just have everything a more evenly blended in and have like a seamless finish. So you have a foundation that looks like it is your skin rather than foundation that's just sitting on top of your skin and you want to really just um, push 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 with your beauty blender and get the foundation very smooth anywhere where you want a little extra full coverage I had a little bit of sunburn on my cheeks so I wanted to cover that up I'm just adding a little bit in in the same manner pushing it on into my skin first with my fingers and then going on top of it and just um, pouncing it in more and blending it with my beauty blender. I also had some little blemishes that I'm covering and you can do the same thing with that. You want to do small thin layers and build the foundation up just where you need it, not everywhere all over your face. It makes it have a more natural look, also a more breathable look and it creates a foundation that you can sweat through, not sweat off. I let it sit for like two minutes, just to like let it absorb into the skin, and then I'll go back with a concealer or a color corrector wherever I need to, just to, um, because sometimes the color will kind of change a little bit depending on like your pigment and stuff. Oh, this is not a good angle for me. Anyways, um, so I'm going to let it sit for a second and come back and then I'm going to do some concealer under my eyes and um, anywhere else I might need a little bit. So, Okay, I'm going to add my concealer. Sorry about all my angle changes. I've been gone, so I had everything cleaned up and like put in an organized manner. Everything's not like teared up like I normally have it. And so, um, it's like all over the place tonight, today or tonight or whenever in the morning when you're watching this. Um, I'm going to use the Naked Skin because that's what I've been using because I like it. But Moisture Select by oh, MAC is really good too for under the eyes because it's moisturizing. I just dotted and swiped a little bit on under my eye. You may have different areas that are darker under your eye. Mine kind of start in the center and go out. So that's where I put my concealer. Okay, next, um, powder. 
you want to use a setting powder not a powder with color in it that's a um, finishing powder or a foundation powder you need like a lightweight setting powder um, with no color it's the best because it's um, it's made to do that so I'm going to use a RCMA no color power <laughs> RCMA no color powder and you just want to pat it into your skin again with the powder the same as the foundation use very small amounts in light layers as you dust that across your face with the beauty blender um, just keep adding little small bits until your whole face is covered shadow just to do the base because it gives the other shadows something to stick to um, I like a paint pot Mac paint pot for that um, they use there's all kinds of other things out there that you can use that work just as well as long as it's like a creamy base um, this one is uh, let me pop Mac. I'm just using my fingers to apply this to my lash line all the way and blending it up into the crease and kind of a little bit above the crease it acts as a shadow base so my eyeshadow has something to stick to i'm going to use a neutral color in the crease area if you do not have a crease area and you have deep set eyes just make a little half moon area where your brow bone is and you can have a crease area. Greeny, brownie. I say greeny, brownie. It kind of looks like a camel hair color. I'm just rocking the brush up and down over my brow bone and then taking and rocking the brush up and down in half moon circles over my eyelid it creates a beautiful blended smoky effect with like no effort I just tapped my brush in both shades and I'm kind of using this blender brush to wash it over doing the same exact movement as before I'm adding just with another little tiny pointy crease brush on the corner lash line here just a it's like a milky coffee color like if you put too much creamer in your coffee just adding that to the outer corner here. So I'm taking this color and just taking in like almost like if I had an eyeliner pencil and real messily just kind of making a little V and smoking out the eyelash line just all the way from the corner to about the mid right over the pupil of the eyelashes. I'm gonna fill in these little spots in my eyebrow where like no hair grows. Otherwise I have, am very happy with my eyebrows and I let them just kind of go wild and do their own thing. Um, except in the middle, that's like no for me. I'm gonna use this really dark chocolate to do my brows. I just use, I'm gonna take this dark brown and just take a flat liner brush and literally draw on tiny little strokes of hair and then just kind of blend it a tiny bit with my finger and the key to making my brows look natural but still really full because I have full brows is using the flat liner brush for me this works really well because I literally draw the hairs on where they're missing and then kind of smudge and soften I'm going to add some definition to my face with the Hula bronzer. I think I've used this since I was in high school and like I said, I'm 34. So this is a good product. It's been around a long time. I'm gonna use this uh, little tapered brush. Um, I just take a little bit of product and take tiny little circles and just go over and over and over right underneath my cheekbone where I wanna add a little bit of shadow in to um, kind of contour and make my face a little smaller. And then on my jawline, I'm gonna go and do the tiny little circles again with my brush. And it kind of creates that illusion of having a thinner jawline and chin. And for me, um, especially if I'm gonna be hot and start sweating, that's gonna be like the first place I start rubbing. So I just don't want to look like I have a complete like chin neck or like I call it like a check. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, it adds a little bit of um, 
definition right there, especially um, when you put the bronzer on, it looks great. I'm gonna use a cream blush because, and it won't melt off. I'm gonna use this one right here. This is an RCMA palette and it is very concentrated, so you don't need much. A little bit goes a long way. Any cream blush will do. Start out with, again, a tiny bit and pat it into your skin in small, even layers. And then you can take your damp beauty blender and then kind of blend it in to the desired level of like flush you want because you're going to go back in with a little bit of a powder blush as well and i like the angelica by nars it's got it's pink and it's got gold glitter in it i love glitter i'm using a duo fiber brush because i just want to barely just kind of set that cream powder with the powder blush and then i'm going to curl my lashes and start applying my mascara i think i put on I don't know how many layers of mascara. Most people would want to do a waterproof mascara, especially if you're going for a, um, the waterproof mascara would be great, especially if you don't want to sweat it off or you have deep set eyes. That tends to work really well. I ended up going back and adding a little bit of that darker brown they used on my brows, just right along the lash line in that kind of V area on the top and the bottom because I just wanted the lash line to look a little bit thicker. I used a tiny bit of highlighter, like a little tiny bit to make the look not as matte looking. For your melt proof look, you wanna use a lipstick that's gonna last like all day. Um, uh, waterproof lipsticks or lip stains or long wear lipsticks. I've chosen for this look um, some lipstick that I kind of fell in love with this year. It is Lip Sense, and I'm gonna use the color Raspberry. It's like really pink. Um, I did the lip really quick because you have to put it on in three layers and let it dry and then put the clear gloss on. And then, doesn't come off, it's like magic. So that's perfect for like a, the gloss got like everywhere just then, but the gloss is clear. It's made of um, shea butter and vitamin E, so it's super good for your lips. So, finished look. Some people might need more bronzer, some people might need to wear blush. I'm done. One last spray. I use this on everyone. I love it. At my sister's bachelor party, I was spraying this on everyone when we were in New Orleans. It's a oil-free, paraben-free, fine mist. It's not as wet as the other one. Super good. Scandinavia. They actually make all of Urban Decay's makeup setting sprays. Or they used to. I don't know if they still do, but I know that they used to. Um, so it's the same company. It's pretty cool. Anyways, so that is your makeup for melt proof makeup. Anyways, so thanks for watching my channel. And if you haven't um, liked the channel or the video, <laughs> if you haven't liked the video, like it. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. It's free and you can keep up to date with the videos here at Lens Pro, which is me, <laughs> Lindsay. Um, so thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, but I do post very regularly on Instagram. It's lost without paint. One word, lost without paint on Instagram. So follow me there. And then I also have a thing on Facebook that's my work page. And it's exclusively Lindsay Howell. And that's my Facebook page. Um, and I'll usually link all my videos onto my Facebook page too. So you'll never miss out on a video that way too. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye.